All right, ladies and gentlemen, today on how to build a moped desk cam, we are working on a Delato 21 millimeter uh, carburetor. And the thing is, this carburetor has been a pain. It's been doing really weird stuff that nobody's been able to explain. So let's get into that and then we'll see if we can fix it, okay? And maybe it'll stay fixed, maybe we can run this thing. I'm working really hard. so. Let's go to the history. So in the beginning, when I didn't modify the Oco reed valve kit, just put it together, put it on there with a windowed piston in it. Uh, this thing ran fine for a while, and then all of a sudden, it just started flooding. And I don't know why. Why would it be fine one minute and just start flooding the next? So we went in, we adjusted the float, everything seemed to be fine, and, except we were still tinkering around with the jet sizes. And then all of a sudden, it starts flooding again, coming out this, uh, this little tube here, right? So why is that happening? Well, that's what I'm here to investigate today. It could be something to do with the needle and seat. I, I don't know. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to be changing uh, the jets in here. And uh, I'm not sure if we change both of them or not. I'm still thinking about that. Uh, let's get the screws out of here. Now, I had to replace uh, the screw, the stock screw up here because it was uh, all stripped out and weird and didn't want to come out. So I had to replace that whole thing. Let's go put this. Are these screws going to fall through if I put them over here? I'm not sure. Okay, put them over here. And uh, got lots of washers on this one. And then, of course, we've got to remember that because there's a thing that goes clear down to the bottom in there, a straw, or I should say clear at the top, um, it, uh, well, I guess we'll just leave the screw in there maybe. I don't know. Let's see. So... There we go, screw came out with all of its attachments. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay. So now what we gotta do is get this to come off and it's got that straw, so oh, I almost forgot. I have to remove this um, hose here from the side. There we go. There's a strange hose that goes to some sort of power jet or something. I don't know. Okay, so up here our gasket looks good. Everything in here looks good, except that it's not working. So, we'll put it over here, and uh, there's our, I think, our overflow straw. I think that's what that is, because when the gasket's in here, it comes out. So we know that this straw sits about uh, half of a finger height, I'd say, above this, down into there. And when the fuel gets that high, it starts spilling over. Okay, so, here's our float. Float appears to be working, except I can't tell if it's closing the... Uh, Needle or not, I can't tell. But what I do know is if you raise this float too high, it won't run right at all. So let's look here. There should be a pin somewhere here. Oh yes, there's a pin. And I don't know if I have the right tools with me to get that pin out. Let's see if I use a needle nose. Normally you don't do this, but I don't know why this is happening. So I'm gonna try to pull this pin out. There we go. Putting it in should be easier than taking it out. Put it over here. And now, it's a pin out. There's the needle from the needle and seat. It's hanging on the float. And it does look like there might be some, I don't know, there's a ring on there. I don't know, that looks like it's supposed to be there. And um, I'm just going to take the float off. It's got a little dirt on it for some reason. The float looks good. It also could be that the float is cracked and it's sinking. Like it fills with fuel and then it floods and I don't know. Um... So, this guy's got a spring. The spring seems to be okay. Let me check our needle and seat here. The needle seems to be alright. I don't know what that ring is on it though. And then, down in here, it looks like there might be some garbage. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some uh, brake cleaner. You could use carb cleaner, but that's I have brake cleaner. I'm going to shoot it down in there and try to clean that out. And then I want to change um, my jets, and we'll get back and talk about that. First, I'm going to run and grab some uh, brake cleaner. All right, so got to be very careful here. Uh, this is probably going to shoot straight up and all kinds of things, so I'm going to try to stand clear. And we'll look down in there. Ooh, it looks like it might be better. I don't know. Thing is, it could have went the other direction. It could have went down into the 
carburetor because I don't know but there was black crud in there um, let's take this out and take this out and put them in a safe place and then what we'll do is flip the carburetor over and see maybe hit it again up in there while it's upside down clear all that out and then as long as we're at it there's no reason not to try to clear out the other jets as well even though we're going to be changing them oh and there's this I don't know what this is but it's got stuff coming out of it but this one okay let's make sure everything's nice and clear now that we've got that part out of the way and I think we got our needle and seat clean that might have been the whole problem don't know I'm hoping I can hope and pray that that's our problem. Okay, so we go in here, make sure my hands are clean, don't want that brake clean sitting on there. Um, so now I gotta put the float back in and try to make sure it's adjusted right. But the thing is the float should be adjusted right because nothing should have changed. Let's see if we can set all this back in and then put the pin through. So I'm gonna put this uh, needle over top gonna set this down in there perfect just set this there and just let it kind of sit there for a second take the pin now so before we were doing all this this carburetor was running lean with the 110 point 110 a millimeter main jet and whatever jet this is now that's one problem is this is a whatever jet I don't know so I want to change this jet because I don't know what it is. So let's take it out. And the float is sitting level, so I assume that's where it should be. These gloves might look dirty, but that stuff is kicked on there. Just so you know. And I can't really afford to buy lots of gloves, so... Because it needs you guys to give to Patreon. Alright, so this is an unmarked jet. There's no markings on it. No idea what size it is. So, I'm just going to set that. Well, it looks like it'll fall if I sit, set it down in there. So, I'll set it over here. And now, uh, the people online that I've spoken to, uh, when I read, and I read on websites and stuff, they say that we want this jet to be somewhere between 40 and 45. But most people seem to agree on 40 or 41 for this. The thing is, is that we should be using more air and fuel. Um, someone's showing up here. I've got to go find out what's going on. I'm always getting constant interruptions. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So, since some people put in a 40, a 41, and a 45, I decided I'm going to put in a 42. Because I've got a 42, and I have a 40, I think. And I have, well, let's see, everything wants to roll off here. 40 and a 45, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be putting in a 42 uh, just to try to be somewhere in the middle. I'll put this pliers over here because everything wants to roll off this table. It's kind of scary. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put this down in here. And uh, anyway... All right, and then I can change the main jet later through uh, this right here. Now, just just for comparison, just for the sake of it, okay? Let's look at the jet that was in there and this one. Let's just kind of put them side by side for a second. Okay, I think it's hard to tell, but they look very similar, so I think... I don't know if this is the same size or what, to be honest. But at least now I know what size it is. That's an improvement. Put this one back. Put everything away. So hopefully now that this jet needle and seat is clear, maybe now that the needle and seat is clear, maybe now everything will function right. We'll go ahead and check the float here real quick 
So, float. I'm going to pick this up. And I'm just going to touch this just a little bit. Since it was flooding over. Connect our hose on the side and now we should be ready to try this out.
Alright, I can't tell if this thing's running rich or lean right now. It smells like it's running rich when it's running, and uh, the spark plug smells rich. But as you can see, it looks pretty clean. Uh, it doesn't look very, very dirty. So, um, I'm going to have to come back and revisit this. I got some stuff I have to take care of today. Uh, There's crazy stuff going on. Kind of like what was going on earlier when uh, I was trying to record the video. So, anyways, I do need your support on Patreon because I need to get some uh, mag rims. I, I know I can make this bike run fast. Okay, I've got the parts to do it. If this doesn't work, okay, if the Oco kit, this stuff doesn't work, um, the HP carb will get me up to 30 on a 44 tooth. I put a 36 tooth on, I should be able to, you know, go faster, a jack shaft kit or whatever. So, be really helpful if you guys could help me on Patreon. Also, I'll just show you something real quick. So, a lot of people have been asking me to work on car and truck projects. Well, this is a truck. This is a Dodge truck. And it needs four new uh, tires. And uh, we just replaced the fuel pump because it was setting and I needed that done. I think there's some wiring issues and stuff going on here uh, between the front and the rear, things like that. So if you guys want to send me some Patreon and I get my bike done, I can work on this. I also have a 1965 uh, Dodge Dart that uh, can be restored. So any support you guys can give with Patreon would be amazing. All right, thanks so much. God bless you. And also check out uh, How to Win in Court in the links, the affiliate link, and uh, check out uh, howtobuildamoped.com and christiancourts.com. All right, thanks so much. Bye. Hello, everyone. We interrupt your broadcast to bring you Subscriber Bunny, reminding you to subscribe to YouTube and give to our Patreon and all of that wonderful, great stuff. Now back to your regularly scheduled video.